Hi guys and welcome to another IBM BPM technical presentation. In the last week or so we've seen the release of a new cumulative fix for version 857, that's the latest release of the IBM BPM product. And one of the new features that is in it is the ability to interact or subscribe to BlueWorks live processes through the browser-based process designer. Now, prior to this cumulative fix, the way one could only interact with BlueWorks Live was through the Eclipse-based desktop version of Process Designer. So what I want to do is take uh, a few minutes and let's look at what it looks like to bring in BlueWorks Live processes through the new web Process Designer. So we've got the, the notion, of course, that we can go to BlueWorks Live and in BlueWorks Live we can edit and build processes. So here's my, uh, my ridiculously simple business process, which is all about making a cup of tea. So we make a cup of tea by boiling water, do we need to clean a cup, etc, etc. Classic stuff, which is a business process. Now this exists in BlueWorks Live, in my own private space, and the process is called make a cup of tea. So now let's log in to the BPM process designer for the new uh, 857 Cumulative Fix 2017 March edition. So we'll log in, my user ID is Callban and my password is, well it's password but it's a private system, you'll never find it. And I'm now going to create myself a BPM process. So I'm now in the BPM process editor. This is process designer, the browser based edition. I'm running within a Chrome browser here, but that's neither here nor there. At this point, I have no processes, no user interfaces, no artifacts uh, created whatsoever. We go to my uh, process environment and I say, kick me to my BlueWorks Live subscription, log in with my BlueWorks Live account. It was and it clicks, pick the account that I'm associated with. It's now listing the spaces that are available to me. I've got my private space here with my process, make a cup of tea hit the next button and what is now happening is the make a cup of tea process has just been imported from BlueWorks Live into my BPM environment. So again, this is what it looked like in BlueWorks Live. This is where I can model it as a business process analyst without any technical information. I can provide the flow, I can provide annotations about the data, I can make uh, 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 documentation changes to it. I can reason on it from a business perspective, but I can't run it here. That's not what BlueWorks Live is about. BlueWorks Live is about modeling and analyzing business processes. By bringing it in to Process Designer, we now find that we have an actual process called Make a Cup of Tea. And if I open that up in the BPM Process Editor, we find that we have an exact fidelity BPM process which corresponds exactly with the BlueWorks Live model process. So this is the process I modeled in BlueWorks Live and this is the importation of that modeled process in the BPM product for fleshing out that model for execution and of course automation. So now using my BlueWorks Live process as the original template, I can now come into the BPM process designer editor and start building it out as normal with this process already brought in. Now, should I change my BlueWorks Live process? We have all kinds of interesting artifacts. I can check for new versions. I can open the process. We can make comments and attributes. So what we now have is the ability to interact with BlueWorks Live modeled processes within the actual process designer, which is browser-based. And that's just fantastic. That's just really, really nice. Uh, this isn't a new BPM product release. This is just a cumulative fix into which the development organization has managed to slip in a very, very nice piece of new function.
I hope this was useful to you, and let's look forward to making more of these videos in the future. Thanks, guys, and bye-bye.